so we came to Trader Joe's, my sister and I. We're gonna do some shopping and we're gonna make food. So I'm gonna record everything, but I'm gonna get some flowers first. I love Trader Joe's flowers. I think I'm taking these. I'm looking for my sister. I lost her. Favorite things to buy here are I usually buy. I've tried these, these are good in the air fryer. Sweet potato fries. Oh, I tried this. In the air fryer, too. I'm gonna take some. Oh, yeah, I usually buy this chicken and this one in the air fryer. I don't eat it all the time because it's more like a treat, but it's uh, like a healthier alternative, I guess. I already have some. I bought some like two days ago. Oh, and this one, too. And this is what we got so far. Well, this is my sister's. I'm only getting a few things since I came, like I said, two days ago. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try this. Okay, so we're back from. We went to Trader Joe's and then to TJ Maxx, but no había nada porque ese TJ Maxx estaba como. It was too small. So we're back home and we're gonna start cooking. Let me show you guys the ingredients. I'm gonna teach my sister how to make tinga because she does. She's over here freaking out because she doesn't have any makeup on. So who cares? Yeah, you look like a DJ. I don't. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys whatever we're gonna use for the tostadas. Oh, we're gonna make tostadas de tinka de pollo because they're super simple and they're fast. So, pollo, this is just chicken breast. You can use pierna, but obviously the chicken breast is gonna be less fat and less calories. Tomatoes, I, I just got like three. Show your face. Chipotle, this is my sister. Ew, bro, I'm so sorry. You need to relax. Chipotle, this is just chipotle peppers. And onions, we're probably just gonna use one. And then we have light sour cream, or you can use Greek, plain Greek yogurt if you're trying to cut even more calories. And then we have two different tostadas. Obviously, these ornellas are gonna be healthier because they're ornellas, they're not fried. And then these are just regular tostadas. So, I think 150 calories for two, 150 calories for, for three. three. Queso cotija polvo. And that's it. So you need a pot, an olla, and we're gonna boil the chicken. This, this right here, then you need a bit of salt. Huh? So we're gonna boil the chicken with a piece of onion and a little bit of salt, and then we're gonna shred it once it's cooked. So I like to cut the breast a little bit thinner so they don't take too long cooking or boiling or whatever. So I'm gonna put water in here for, that was fine. Okay, so we don't need too much water. It's not más para que tape el pollo. So kind of like a little bit less than half. And a piece of onion is not needed, but it gives it more flavor to the chicken, I feel like. So probably like one third. So this much onion. Meanwhile, that's cooking. We're gonna boil some tomatoes because the chipotle sauce. I like to add some tomatoes porque it gives it more volume and more color and it's not um, as spicy just with the chilies. So we're just gonna boil two, I don't think we need three, and put them in a little pot to boil. And it's gonna take honestly like 10 minutes hasta que esté kind of like soft. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have this ugly pan, but I don't know how to clean. If you guys know how to take this off, so tomato, please let me know. I don't know how they got so ugly. So we're just gonna boil them. The chicken is being boiled. And I, I give this probably like 35, 40 minutes, I think. Hopefully less, because I want to finish fast. And then these are going to take like 10 minutes. Okay, so I think the chicken is ready. So we're going to put it here so it cools. And then Mimi's going to shred it. And the tomatoes, I think they, they're good. They have to be soft. We're going to make the chipotle salsa. Pollo pon aquí. So for the salsa, vas a ocupar, I already said chipotle chiles, peppers, mm -hmm. tomatoes, a piece of onion, and salt. With forks? I mean, I usually do with my hands, but. We'll see, but it's coming. Here, I can just try. Okay, mientras, pay attention because I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, como no es mucho pollo, vamos a usar. Voy a usar dos chiles. We want it a little spicy porque I'm not going to make salsa aparte. Usually you put like salsa and chilosa uh, aparte, but I want to make it a little spicy so we don't have to add any more chili. We're going to add that both tomatoes. So la puse dos chiles ahí. Two tomatoes. 
and a little bit of water from here or from, actually not from caldo de pollo if you want to use regular water for this you can but i'm going to use the, the caldo de pollo where we boil the chicken so it has more flavor those are just hacks that mexicans mom use for their food to taste better <laughs> but that's the cebolla i'm gonna use like one fourth this is for more flavor and then salt Obviously you can taste it and then add more if it needs more. So we're gonna blend it. Obviously if you're using more chicken, add more chiles, more tomatoes, more everything so you get more salsa. Cause you don't want it to, your thing has to be dry. How much, these were like two chicken breasts, no? It was like three small ones, three medium ones. They were not too small. So after that you want to taste it and make sure it doesn't need salt or it doesn't need more chile or whatever. So let me just try from here. I think it is. Oh no, it's good. Mm, it's a little spicy. It's perfect. Mm, it doesn't need anything. So we're gonna save the salsa for when the chicken's shredded. We're gonna put it in the pan to warm up with the chicken. And that's it. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna finish making the tinga. We're almost done. We're gonna warm up this pan, any pan you have, and then um, we're gonna spray a little bit with olive oil spray. Can you check in there? I have a messer. I need to organize. Okay, so let it warm up. Honestly, at this point, it, everything's already cooked. Obviously, the chicken's already boiled. We're just gonna let put it in there so it can simmer with the salsa and like you know combine together, versus just mixing it like that. You know, it's, in, it's not professional. Oh, just a little bit. Yeah. Can okay, I put the chicken? Pour the salsa. This is up to you if you want to pour it all. I think I am because I don't want it to be too dry. And you can add more color yeah, in the pollo yeah. if you want. Alright, hold this. I don't want it to be too dry. No, it's not because it's gonna boil. Le falta. Le falta. Like so we're just gonna let it simmer for like, I don't know, seven minutes and then it should be ready. And then right now you can check if it needs salt. Wait, I don't care. Mm. Is it salt? Mm. Dude, this is so good. I was craving it. Okay, for the little Okay, so I just bought. I bought these from Trader Joe's. I don't know if I showed you guys. It's coconut shrimp. It's not the healthiest. Like, I'm not telling you buy this and you're gonna lose weight. But um, they're not gonna be fried. I'm gonna make some right now Whoa. to have as an appetizer. And we can try them and rate them. But yeah, for five shrimps, which I'm not gonna plan to eat five shrimps, it's. 250 calories, 11 fat, 25 carb, and 11 protein. But it's, like I said, Trader Joe's is more like a treat. Bake and serve. So this is how they look. This was like five bucks, I think. They look interesting. <laughs> Maybe like three. Okay, I'll eat two. This is, I don't like to make them mask because they're, oh, they're gonna get soggy. So I'll just make them as I go. So this is how they look. Obviously, like they're shaped like shrimps, I guess. 450 12 minutes so let me put the timer and this air fryer was sent to me but i, I think you can buy it it's on amazon creo. yeah it's called westa or something like that but i'm pretty sure any air fryer works but i've had this one for like three years i think it's really good so far no me ha fallado it just burns the cookies though last time i tried to make cookies and they burnt so i don't know if it was me or the air fryer <laughs> <laughs> i think it was the air fryer Okay, so this is how they look. Ya están preparadas. I use one bacon, one regular tostada, and then obviously the chicken, the light sour cream, lettuce, and we did add onion to the uh, tinga. I forgot to record that, but we added onion. And then here's the shrimp. We're gonna try it right now, and I'll tell you guys what I think. Okay, okay I'm gonna try the shrimp. Is it cooked from inside? No. I almost choked. It doesn't taste like coconut shrimp. It tastes just like fried shrimp, no? Do it taste yeah. coconut? You know what? Hace poquito I tried Panda Express coconut shrimp and it was way different. But it, I mean, it's good. It just doesn't taste like coconut shrimp. But it's good. Now I'm going to try the pasta. I wonder what you're going to say. The chicken bomb. 
It's good. I'm gonna stop eating the I'm gonna stop recording because I don't like to see people eat. So I forgot to end that vlog, so I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys tried the recipe. Um, it's super healthy and I feel like we don't have to miss out on healthy recipes just because we're trying to lose weight or we're trying to have a healthy lifestyle. There's always ways to do it. There's always modifications. There's always things you can change to make it a little bit healthier. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want more cooking videos with my sister or any of my sisters or all my sisters, let me know. And we would love to do that for you guys. So thank you for watching. I love you guys so much. Part two is going to be our little mukbang. Uh, reacting to old videos which was so funny so stay posted for that and yeah guys thank you for watching stay posted for part two don't forget to follow me on instagram and like this video for more and don't forget to do what's right now what's easy bye